Hey guys, it's Qwerty Afro here. As I promised uh, not too long ago when I did my first North London Line video, I did promise in it that I will check out this other scenario that's actually uh, using the class 172, uh, which runs this odd kind of thing between Gospel Oak and Wilson Junction, which is actually an actual service in real life, where I f do you believe it's in the mornings? That it happens very early mornings, it's one of the first ever trains, but it's also just to kind of shuffle the 172s to get refueled and stuff, I do believe if that's what the actual operations are for, for that kind of like specific little uh, kind of route that it does and little like timetable surface it does. But anyway, I'm here to do it today uh, on Train Simulator 2016, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. The shout outs go to... Uh, if I can find them, Holly Bauer and Calvin Spector. That's again, Holly Bauer and Calvin Spector. The links and stuff will be down below. The scenario is this one, which is the 2J960, uh, the, for the 0759 Woodgrange Park to Wilson Junction using the Class 172, which is actually technically the Class 171, but it's just a reskinned to just basically look like the 172 essentially. Uh, in this scenario, you're in charge of a strange working which sees a Class 172 running on the Goblin and North London lines. This is the only 172 in passenger service to run on the North London line between Gospel Oak and Wilson Junction. What is more bizarre is it that it terminates at Platform 2 at Wilson Junction, the bay uh, platform on the lower level uh, station. Which it isn't actually too bizarre because that's actually where it would have to turn in to go into the actual Wilsdon uh, Junction Depot, the the London Overground Railway Operations Laurel. <laughs> I, I don't know what Laurel stands for, but that's what that's what it it's there. La the Laurels Wilsdon Junction Depot, and that's where the 172 would go back and get refueled, and then go back onto the North London line to go onto the Goblin line. So I hope you guys uh, are going to enjoy this one. Uh, I'll see you guys in the train. And we're here now, uh, loaded up into the scenario. Good morning, driver. Once you are ready, you can make your way to Wilson Junction. So let's just exit this. As you can see, lovely 172, two car, Wilson Junction there at the front. We can already just turn on the headlights because why not? Because we can. It's looking good. The skin itself, I'm pretty impressed with it. The interior as well is done up nicely inside. Do we actually have an interior camera? No, we don't have an interior camera, which uh, to be honest isn't actually too strange because the actual 170 doesn't have a passenger camera, but this looks pretty cool. Wilson Junction is the terminus, but all the, uh, <laughs> I like how the, the only thing that the, the side one says is Wilson, but it can't fit into there. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Let's get up all set up in here. I haven't actually driven a 172 in quite some time. I think my last video on the 170 was oof, 2014 December somewhere time. So it's uh, almost yeah, it's almost a year since I've done a video in this train. But anyway, let's get the HED up. Oh, that's all set up actually. Yeah, I think everything is set up. I don't actually have to do anything to be honest. Let's just. Uh, Let's just go. Have a nice green light here, twenty miles per hour, so we're not gonna have to not gonna really fire it through gospel look or anything. I see position the camera there for you guys. So yeah, I thought I'd do the scenario. I thought I'd, I I wanted to do it because um it's something a little different, and obviously with this route, the only really thing you can drive is the fourth uh, uh, the uh, I'm saying the four, five, eight, the fr uh, three, seven, eight. <laughs> oh, look at that! That's fabulous. There, we have a uh, a one seven two parked up there in the Gospel Oak platform, and then we're going to be passing it, which is very, very nice. Nice little screenshot there.
Not something you see every day on this kind of uh, setup, but to be honest, this is a actual service, as I've said at the beginning of the video. It's actually an actual service that happens in the mornings. I don't know if it happens in the evenings, but uh, it does happen. And it's very odd because obviously it's uh, it's a diesel train on an electric, dominant electric line. And obviously this 172 isn't that fast, so it can't keep up with the 378s and the kind of speed the 378s go. And that's actually quite nice. We have a 378 there waiting for us to to clear the line. Very nice of him to wait. And the thing is, we actually have to stop at every single stop. So it's not I, I like what I thought this service would be. I thought it would be just a service that goes directly to Wilson Junction, but it actually stops at every single stop. So if you're lucky in the morning to go on a 172 to Wilson Junction, it's it's weird because people. That would that, that AWS just hit me in the ears right there. Wow. Uh, if you're lucky in the morning to actually hop on a 172 to Wilson Junction, that's uh, it's a very unique thing. Now, hopefully, I don't want to... <laughs> I hope this is not going to affect me with my kind of stopping service uh, behavior because me and stopping service kind of scenarios with diesel trains don't tend to fare well as most of them don't have really good braking. Like the 378 has tremendous braking, but this I'm not too sure. Anyway, Hampstead Heath. Actually, not too bad braking, actually. At least he does it. I'm just going to stop here. I'm not going to go all the way down. We're two car, but not four car. Let's uh, have a look out. That is all very nice stuff. It looks, it just, it looks weird. It looks peculiar. It doesn't look like it's supposed to be here. But I do believe these 172s are getting replaced in the future with. Oh, they've changed it now. It was the AT2000s or something like that, the Siemens trains or whatever, but then they got changed to something else. I'm not too sure. I can't remember what the actual class of train, like class 345s or something like that. I'm not too sure. Oh, we actually have a time schedule here. Should have left that 34 from uh, Hamster Eve, but that's not good. There we go, into the tunnel now, into uh, Frenchley Road and Frognall next station. Let's go 100%. I hope there's not going to be any more, like, timed. No, I don't believe there's any more timed. I think the only timed one is the first and the last stop. So we left the first stop <laughs> late, which is annoying, but hey. Oh, no, we do actually have times. I didn't even read the briefing. Uh, what does this be? Good morning, driver. Your train is full of commuters heading to work. Once you're ready, you make your way to Wilson Junction, calling at uh, stations on the way. Good luck. Note, timing for most stations have been disabled due to difficult timekeeping for timings. Oh, wow. That's... If you manage to arrive early for any stations apart from Wilson Junction, please do not leave until your book time. Okay. Well, the door's automatically closed at my book time, so I don't really have to worry about that. Oh, it's nice to see uh, five car 378s as the dominant thing. Slip the girl into neutral. And start braking. Yeah, this would be really difficult to actually keep the timekeeping for this kind of uh, journey with this train because it just, it doesn't accelerate fast and it doesn't slow down fast. So you're going to be having to kind of control speeds at like really slowly. There we go, that's nice. I do believe when we get to Wilson Junction, we will be able to then, when we get to the lower platform, we'll be able to go into the depot. I think then that's the kind of last part of the scenario. I do believe if it's coded in. 
There we go, doors open. Lovely stuff. But I thought I'd do this scenario today as a video because I just wanted to get out of the way. I, I, I liked it when I saw it. I liked that someone did a variation of it. The link will be down below if you want to have a play with it. I think it's, you know, it's cool. A little bit of variation. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to go into my kind of like, uh, an, uh, my kind of annoying hates that this route didn't get like things like the Goblin line or the Watford DC line or even the Clapham Junction branch because I think this is the only kind of other thing you can do on what people are salvaging off this route to kind of make in a way of variations. Oh, hello. Oh no, I don't have a, a key for it. I just have to press it with the with the mouse. Let's go. I have to say with one thing though, the detail on like, you can tell the detail in this train is just not what the quality of the trains today are. That's one thing I have noticed when I've sat into this train, because I haven't sat in this train for ages. And then now sitting in this train, after playing in so many kind of the latest trains, it, you can definitely tell that the detail has gone up. Not saying as a whole that trains are like, are fantastic nowadays, but compared to something like, you know, this to a modern train, it's... Well, modern release DLC train from Double Cell Games, you know, you know what I mean. Going over West Hampstead there, Thames Link Station. Nicely does it. This is West Hampstead change here for. London Underground Jubilee Line and Thames Link Services. Excellent stuff. Let's go inside the train, have a look. Yeah. Yeah, all the upholstery is alright and whatever. And then yeah. Doors are closed. And you won't buzz me, okay, fine. I don't even know if there's still, uh, is there actually still guards on the uh, Goblin branch? I'm not even too sure. I definitely you know on, on all of the electrified London Overground sections there aren't any guards. And to be honest, also one thing like in the last video I did on the North London line when I was saying what, why is Chestnut Hill or something uh, a station name coming up on the blinds and then I had to realise that the actual Overground network has expanded since the last time I've been in London because I don't keep up with these kind of things anymore as I used to. When I was in London I'm always on top of it but when you're in a different city you don't really you don't really look at what's happening in like another city that you're not living in so uh, finding out now and doing my research the uh, London Overground Network has extended drastically from what last time I've seen of it like it's 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 taken over pretty much most of the uh, the kind of like sh not the Shenfield Metro kind of services but the other kind of ones that go up to like Chestnut and whatever and then also the Romford to Upminster kind of section which is kind of nice And those all have like uh, old trains now, which hopefully will get uh, will get replaced eventually in the future. And I do believe they'll get replaced with three seven eights, and then certain sections will get replaced with some different trains. And that's the trains that I can't think of. And that they were supposed to be the AT two thousands or whatever they were called, AT two hundreds or whatever. I'm not too sure. Whoa! Look at. Did you just see that woman? She kind of just turned around in slow motion like she was just on a catwalk, just like sliding around and then just comes back to get on the board the train like Jesus Christ. Stand clear of the doors, train is ready to depart.
It's a very loud train, I have to say. It definitely doesn't feel right on this line to be honest to be uh <laughs> to be driving this train it just it just doesn't suit it and it, it doesn't feel fast paced and I think that's why the goblin line currently it just isn't isn't uh isn't like as fr like does it doesn't have like a frequent service like the rest of the overground network because it's just of these trains and the kind of line it is there we go. All good. Nice little purple seat. I wish it reclined or did something would be fun. It's a nice cockpit, I have to say. You have to just admiring it a little bit. It's interesting. It's a nice one. Oh, what's happening? Something's not right. Oh, the doors are still open. Oh, did I... I might, I, I might have... Uh, open wait oh wait how could I've opened the doors they just open by themselves I don't know why or maybe the booked uh, departure time we have not um, done yet right doors are now closing there we go don't know why the doors just open for some reason by themselves I'm guessing that we weren't supposed to leave, so it just opened to uh, kill some more time. Another 378 coming in. But when I finish this scenario, there's not really much I can do else on the North London line. It's just a shame because I've pretty much done all of it. I could only do really a reverse uh, return trip from Richmond to Stratford. Or uh, there is also the Class 59 freight train um, from DB, which um, I could do like a scenario or two off. I don't know if people would want that. But other than that, I think I've pretty much done with the North London line, to be honest. Which is a shame. But I'll play it myself when I have time or whatever. Surprisingly, actually, I'm trusting these brakes quite a lot. Because they actually do slow down this train. It's, uh, it's pretty good, actually. Alright. Right, we're here at Kensal Rise. And someone did, someone told me um, that they're from Cancer Rise as well. I remember in the previous video, and uh, they were like, why didn't you do a uh, a full kind of like view around Cancer Rise? Well, here you go. Oh, damn, wow. There you go, there's Cancer Rise. These containers are here, I do believe. Um, this is like a bus station, well, a bus kind of terminus here. I don't know what the hell this building is, because that building ain't there. There's like a nice cafe somewhere up here. But all of this is terribly done. Like, the only thing that's kind of accurate is the station building. And then everything else. Oh, whoa, hello. Hello, driver. Just a reminder, you'll be routed to platform 2 on the lower level platforms rather than the high level platforms. That is fine. I know that. I love how there's a gap here. It's like, hello, we can see the trains. Oh, wow, that's nice. Go down here. Let's get her going.
Next station is Wilson Junction, where this train terminates. We'll be time. Oh, hello. Before you can enter Wilson Junction, you will need to wait a couple of minutes at the Wilson Junction down New Line. Oh, that's fine. Next station is Wilson Junction, where we terminate. Well, say goodbye to the 45 mile an hour speed limit because we're going to come up now to 35 and then pretty much not go anywhere near the high speeds we're going. And my SPS is tanking because Wilson Junction is the probably the most densest part of this route. There we go. Let the girl coast. Yeah, slow down slightly. There we go. Well, I need to slow down to 15 now. And this is quite a nice, enjoyable part to uh, to end into the terminating station to go off the actual line and go into this actual section, which isn't actually used a lot. Uh, it's really only you it's it's weird it's a weird section it's only really used for when things have to terminate at Wilson Junction when uh, say parts of the overground uh, are closed off or suspended after Wilson Junction to like Richmond or Clapham and uh, what else could be used for um, another thing it could be maybe used for is if they wanted to do services from Euston to Wilson Junction and then to Stratford or something like that which is weird because they could use, use the Primrose Hill section but I'm not too sure but it's a nice little thing what you have to do here where you you go off the like the main line now where we're going and then we're just going into this little new section down new line as it's called because Wilson Junction is a pretty Pretty cool, in my, in my opinion, because it's my local station. I think it's a pretty cool station. You have like the cool two high-level platforms, and then you have three lower-level platforms. Which one of them being a inland kind of um, island platform? There's like a platform within the island. I kind of like that. And you can see here now it's changed to a third rail because obviously the Watford DC line runs on the third rail. Right, it's quite a descent here. If I let go of the brakes, it, the, the the train just rolls. So I have to I have to apply it a bit aggressively. I have to say, there we go. There we go. So we're gonna have to wait here for some time. And as you can see, here's the Laurel Wilson Junction depot, and there is Wilson Junction. With the Watford DC line, um, probably going to come out here. That's what we're probably waiting for to actually uh, to proceed onto the uh, lower level uh, section. And this is also where the Bakerloo line would be. That's where you get the fourth rail kind of stuff. So this is the this is shared by the Bakerloo and the actual uh, Watford DC. And then here's the West Coast Main Line in all its glory. It's quite busy here. It's so many. There's so many tracks here. If you come here and just look at the amount of tracks, it's just it's overwhelming. Looking all smart there. So I cannot go at danger so I'm gonna uh, we're supposed to be waiting for this train I don't know when it's been scheduled oh I know it's been scheduled because uh, we're supposed to arrive at nine o'clock oh but it's moving anyway I thought we'd have to skip the video here a little bit but that's fine it's moving now and there goes the train to uh, Houston very nice. Oh, four car. 
To be honest, they could have been running five cars on the Watford DC line any time they actually wanted to, to be honest, because most platforms, because obviously it has to serve the Bakery line, which is like a long uh, seven-car tube stop train. They could have obviously just, you know, run it, uh, run five car already. But I think, I guess, I think it was maybe, I think it was Kilburn High Road and South Hampstead that actually had to be extended. So, in a way, they they couldn't. Let's get it going. Let's get down this hill into the Middle Bay platform, which just rarely gets used, to be honest. I have this weird kind of obsession that I wish that these kind of rare platforms that don't tend to get used get I, I wish that they got used a lot more I don't know I go to stations where I see all these platforms which rarely get used and I just wish they were used more I don't know I just have that weird feel, kind of feeling when I get go to these kind of stations where they have these kind of odd platforms I'm like oh why couldn't they have like you know more trains using them or something like that but you know There we go. A new angle here into uh, Wilson Junction, platform two. There we go. There we go. Let's see if we've got that right. Lovely. I think another screenshot time, to be honest. Uh, let's just open the doors as well. Just screenshot from here, or up here somewhere. Or maybe from down here, somewhere. There we go, just change the lights. Oh, that's annoying. We didn't get all the doors or whatever. But I didn't want to go down to the very end. I don't. I don't believe uh, drivers go all the way down to them. What's the point? You just go and park as much as you can in, so the doors would open. But yeah, this is the lower level platforms. This is where the Bakerloo line and the Watford DC line come, and then obviously you have this nice, odd bay platform which just rarely gets used. Right, I want to take a screenshot. Somewhere like here. This train will now go to the TDM later on. Well done. Thank you. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I got a screenshot before. It didn't really matter. But anyway, I rate that scenario. It was an alright scenario. Nice little quick one to do. Hey, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that. I thought it was a fun little kind of odd one to do, and uh, I, I, I'm ashamed. It's such a shame that we can actually do that last part where we actually drive into the depot. That's why I actually thought this scenario would actually lead into. But you know, a uh, nice little one to do in the one class one seventy, which is the uh, one seventy essentially, just in a reskin. But uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, more trains in this month to come. Uh, I definitely want to do more stuff and. Uh, suggestions and stuff put on the forums so I can see and get some ideas and whatever but uh, other than that uh, uh, I hope you guys uh, have a lovely uh, I've, said, I've, I've said already in a previous video have a lovely beginning to December but just have it in general just a nice lovely festive season uh, tell me actually your thoughts about like some of these uh, routes that are supposed to be coming out there's one already out the uh, railjet for from just trains are any of those kind of worth getting and then the uh, European Austrian route would train sim coming out soon I don't know <laughs> but we'll see I don't know uh, I, I definitely want to do like a whole variety of stuff or whatever but I hope you enjoyed this little scenario a little short one today but you know what we do long ones we do short ones what can I say shout outs again go to uh, Ollie Bauer and Calvin Spector that's again Ollie Bauer and uh, Calvin Spector their links and stuff will be down below show them some love and those were the shout outs Hope you guys have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. We ain't